All right. All right, now let's continue further and look at example 10. So in example three, we show that the following lines are skew. In other words, they don't intercept and they're not parallel. So we have uh, right here, line one is x equals one plus t, y equals negative two plus three t, and then z equals four minus t. And line two is uh, x equals two s and y equals three plus s, and z equals negative three plus four s. So, so this is line two and there's line one. So then now we're asked to find a distance between them. All right, so solution. Since the two planes, uh, L1 and L2 are skew, are a skew uh, they can be viewed as lying on two parallel uh, planes, P1, P2. For example, it just means that the, you'll have a line like this. So they're not parallel, but then, so they never intersect and they're not parallel. I mean, yeah, they never intersect. Uh, so, it's, it's, so imagine one line's on this plane, one line's on that plane, then we could find a distance between them. All right, let's go further. So you know, let's take a look at the solution. So since the two lines L1 and L2 are skewed, they can be viewed as lying on two parallel planes, P1 and P2. The distance between L1 and L2 is the same as the distance between P1 and P2, which can be uh, computed as an example. Now it's the exact, exact same thing here. Just find a point, find an equation of a plane and solve it. So the common normal vector to both planes must be orthogonal to uh to both yeah to both v1 which is the uh, direction angle of uh, direction vector of l1 uh v1 is going to be uh, the in front of the t so 1 3 negative 1 so 1 3 negative 1 this direction of l1 and v2 which is 2 uh 1 4 direction of l2 so 2 is a 2s 1 4 so that's the uh, direction of that line 2 yeah, so the common normal vector must be orthogonal to both directions. So if if uh, it's in if it's in on two planes like this and like this, so this is one direction. Uh, let's say v two. This one is v one. Then uh, then the cross product is going to be a perpendicular and like that, and it's going to be perpendicular to both, like that. That's just the visualization. So a normal vector is orthogonal to both, and that is again. That's the cross product. So n a vector equals to v1 cross v2, which equals to our trusty i, j, k, like that. And this is going to be uh, the first vector is 1, 3, negative 1, 1, 3, negative 1. And the next one is 2, 1, 4, like that. And now let's take the cross product as always. This equals two. Cross this out. Cross this out. We get three times four is twelve minus negative one times one is is negative one. Uh, so we have a plus one. This is a negative there. And negative becomes positive. And then the next one is as always. So erase this one. All right. Uh, now we draw a line in the middle one, and then do the same thing there. But now we subtract. So one times four is four. And then minus is negative already, so it becomes positive. 1 times 2 is 2. This is going to be our j. And then the next one is plus, and erase this. Next one is going to be erase the k. I uh, cancel out this. So 1 times 1 is 1. And then minus 3 times 2 is 6. Like that. All right, so now the next step is this is going to be 13 i minus 6j then minus 5k like that all right now i'm gonna box this in like that all right so now we have this normal vector n uh, the next thing that we could do is well if we put s equals zero in the equations of l2 just to get a point on it uh we get the point zero three uh minus three on L2, and so an equation for P2 is, well, let's just write this down first. So if L2, so at S equals to zero, we get, well, if we take a look at the equations, um, uh, yeah, so X is 2S, X is zero. So X equals to zero. The next one is Y is equal to, just to double check here. Uh, the next one is, um, yeah, 3 plus s, then the next one is negative 3 plus 4s. So 3 plus s, yeah, s is 0. Just leave it like that. 
The next one is z is equal to negative three plus four s. So that's gonna be zero, yeah, so negative three. So that is correct. Yeah, so we have this point is gonna be zero, three, negative three. It's gonna be on line, uh, yeah, line two. And so an equation for P2 is, so P2, let's write this down, P2 plane, this is the plane, uh, it's going to be, well, we're going to write the normal vector. It's a, there's a normal vector 13, negative 6, uh, 5, the components. And there's the point on this uh, on this line. And we're going to say, uh, we're, we're just going to uh, form a parallel plane with this line on it. So that's going to be, or that point. Yeah, so this point here on the line. And that's going to be 13. It's going to be x minus 0. And then minus 6 y minus three and then and then this is going to be yeah minus five because this value there that's c minus five z minus the negative three is going to be plus three like that equals to zero all right so this is the equation of a plane but we could uh, simplify it further uh this equals to 13 x and then zeros there's eliminated next next one is going to be negative six y and then five z and then move this over inside. So negative six minus three and times that is gonna be plus 18. All right, this is gonna be plus 18. And then uh, the next one is gonna be negative five times three, negative 15. This equals to zero like that. So uh, this becomes just three. There's 13 X minus six Y minus five Z plus three three equals to zero. So this is our equation of the plane two P2. All right, here I uh, just box that. And so now if we set T equals zero in the equations uh, for L1, we get this point here. So we have this plane right here for P2. So now we just need another point on P1 and then we get a uh, solve for the using the distance formula from point to the plane. So if we set t equals zero in the equations for L1, we get the point one, negative two, four uh, on P1. And let's just double check. L2 at t equals to zero, uh, we get, and if we scroll up, let's take a look here. So if we plug in zero, we'll get x equals one. This goes to zero, so then y equals negative two, and then z equals to four. Yeah, so that is correct. So one, negative two, and four. So x equals to one y equals to negative two and z equals to four. Yeah, so thus the point is gonna be one, negative two, four on, this is on L1, not L2, L1. All right, so the distance between L1 and L2 is the same as the distance uh, from this point right here on L1, one, negative two, four, to the plane right here on uh, parallel to L2. So it's 13x minus 6y minus 5z plus 3 equals 0. So thus, by the distance formula, the distance is d equals 2. This is going to be uh, absolute value of a is 13. Um, yeah, 13. Now we're going to multiply the x component of the point. So it's 1. And then it's going to be plus. But this is going to be minus right here is 6, uh, uh, negative 6. So it's a negative six, and then it's gonna be negative two is right here. And then this is gonna be minus five, and then this is four right there. And then plus D is three, like that. And then divide this all by the distance or the length of the normal vector. So 13 squared plus negative six squared plus negative five squared. And and let's all let's just do some uh, algebra fun here. So solve all of this. This is going to be uh, thirteen times one is, is just thirteen. Minus is going to be plus twelve. Six times two is and then uh, negative is become positive. And then minus twenty plus three like that. And then the bottom part here. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put a side a bubble right here. So I'll just just multiply on the side right here. So 13 times 13 uh, to get the squared is going to be, well, 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 1 is 3. 
put a zero, just doing long multiplication. Uh, one times three is three. One times one is is uh, one. And now we're gonna add these up. Nine, six, one. Let's add. So this is equals to one six nine plus six times six is thirty six. Negative six times negative six is also thirty six. Negative uh, becomes positive. Negative five squared is this five squared equals plus twenty five. Like that. All right, and uh, let's do some more addition here. So 13 uh, plus 12 is 25. Yeah, so just add a 10. 23 plus 2 is 25. And this right here is 17. Negative 17. So negative 20 plus 3 is uh, negative uh, 17. And the difference 25 minus 17, that's just, uh, well, 3 uh, goes to 20. And then 5, yeah. So uh, 20 uh, minus 5. Is, I mean, 25 minus 5 is 20, minus another 3, 17. So that's 5 plus 3 is 8. So that's going to be positive. That's 8. And now it's 169 plus 36. Put it over here. It's 36. So 6 plus 9 is 15. Put and add, carry the 1. And then this is going to be 6 plus 1. Oh yeah, 6 plus 3 is 9, plus the 1. So carry the 1. This is going to be 0. It's a 10. And then this is going to be 2, 205. And then add up 25 plus 25. 5 plus 5 is, is 10. Carry the 1. This is going to be 3. This is going to be 2. So this equals 2. 8 over square root 20, 230. All right. And uh, I'm going to put the D right here. And then this is going to be um, yeah, approximately equal to when you solve it uh, with a calculator, uh, 0.53. So box this whole thing in. All right, and uh, going further, let's do a calculation check right here. Uh, so, so we have right here 13 minus uh, 6 times 12. That's this part right here. 6 times negative 2 minus uh, 5 times 4 plus 3. And then use a calculator, delete, press equals 8. That's exactly right. This next one is 13 squared. Um, yeah, so 13 squared plus negative 6 squared, which is plus 6 squared plus 5 squared. And this equals 2 space 230 and then lastly 8 divided by square root 30 erase this equals space you'll, you'll see this 0.527 round of 0.53 so epic epic stuff there so now let's graph and double check our calculations using again the amazing GeoGebra 3d graphing calculator here's the inputs I did and yeah here is the link right here you can play around with it and uh, so there's the uh, I, I hit the, these vectors away but anyways um, going back here, yeah, I believe this, the skew lines were from example three, I believe. But anyway, so here's the line. So what I have graphed here is line uh, L L one right here with a point one negative two four, and then it has that uh, parallel vector uh, or the direction vector v one that we had one three negative one. Then there's other one was two one four, and let's just scroll back to those direction vectors. There's v one right here. V one is one three negative one. V two is what two one four. And again, that's you could see that from the equations, from the parameters. So one, three, negative one, two, one, four. All right. Now that we have that, so that's the first line. There's a second line, and then the second line is zero, three, negative three, and then there's two, one, four. Um, the yeah, the direction vector there. Anyways, and then there's a cross product. I did a double check of the cross product v1, uh, v2. So there's v1, v2, and we get 13, negative 6, negative 5. So you can even do a cross product check as well. It's 13, negative 6, negative 5. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, all in one calculator right here. And there's the plane 1, uh, 13x minus 6y minus 5z minus 5 uh, equals 0. This one I actually have to solve it. I'll, I'll solve it soon. And then there's the other one that we had, uh, thir P2, 13x minus 6y minus 5z plus 3. Because uh, the, the calculator here only could do distances from between planes, not between point and plane for some reason. The distance uh, P1, P2 equals 0.53, so you can actually solve the distance directly. And here it is when you graph it, you'll see the line 2 is parallel to this plane. This one's line 1 is parallel to that plane. And shift it around, looks like that. And there's the normal vector n. You can also draw the normal vector uh, n right here with the cross product. You can even graph the cross product uh, like that. And again, uh, yeah, so that's uh, what it is. And it's, again, it, it confirms our calculations. So note that in GeoGebra, the distance formula required that I know the equation of both planes and in which I solved the first plane as follows. 
So the first plane going back up here, so this is 13x minus 6y minus 5z minus 5. And to solve that, well, we need a point on uh, the plane. So uh, uh, then that point is going to be 1, negative 2, 4. And we know, and then we just use a nodal vector. So we can just solve that ourselves. All right, so let's go back here. So I solved it as follows. We had a point right here. This is going to be 1, negative 2, 4. It's going to be on L1 uh, and on the plane. So then P1 is going to be 13. Uh, this is going to be yeah, 13, negative 6, negative 5 is the, um, uh, is the normal vector. So P, X, X minus 1, then minus 6, Y, then minus negative 2, so be plus 2, and then minus 5, Z minus 4 equals 0. Solve this out. This is going to be 13X. And then 6Y over here, then minus 5Z. Then move this over, so plus 13, uh, negative 13. All right, this is going to be, uh, yeah, negative 13, not plus 13. Negative 6 times 2 is negative 12. And then negative 5 times negative 4 is plus 20 equals 0. And let's do some addition. This is negative 13 minus negative uh, 12. Uh, this is just negative 25. And then negative 25 plus 20, that's going to be negative 5. And there's our equation. 13x minus 6y minus 5z minus 5 equals to 0. And uh, yeah, and you could uh, confirm that it's correct because the distance formula, uh, the distance gets it correct. So we're going back up here, scroll up. So there's that 13x, negative 6y, negative 5z, negative 5. And then we plug it into the calculator. <laughs> P1, P2 gets 0.53 exactly as we calculated with the 0.2 distance, uh, yeah, 0.2 plane distance formula. Whereas this one just uses plane to plane, but it probably uses variation of the same formula.